Hi everyone, I'm Glenn Parsons from uh, Wale Resources. Um, so we started off as a Greenfields Explorer in Côte d'Ivoire and uh, we've made our first discovery which we announced uh, on Tuesday uh, at the ODNE project which is up in the northwest. That's just, uh, that is the project, that's sort of what the terrain looks like, relatively flat, a little bit of cover uh, and basically we have to, you know, it is green fields, you start at the grassroots level and you slowly develop uh, on a systematic basis. So just uh, running through, ODNE is up in the northwest, um, that's where we're drilling at the moment and uh, we do operate really on two fronts, the northwest and the northeast, Bonduku project which is, uh, which is on, the, on the northeast. Both of them are actually, we know, we're effectively uh, Greenfields projects. Abinguru is also there, but that's really sitting down on our prioritization at the moment. I mean, that land holding is, uh, is actually pretty huge. Uh, Bonduku is 1,200 square kilometers, ODN is 400 square kilometers, and Abinguru is 800 square kilo uh, kilometers of uh, granted tenements. Um, so this, so as, as you can see from that though, I mean, really what Awali has always been about. I mean, we, we, we came out of the Mariana field. Uh, I was the CEO of Mariana. Um, we took the uh, West African assets and we floated them separately. And really what we are trying to do is build a, you know, build a company which has district scale type opportunity. All of those uh, project areas are district scale and have the ability to, 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 deli to deliver a number of discoveries. That's why we say we are geared for multiple discoveries and uh, ODNE is the first one that's delivered. Um, I won't harp on that for the moment, but everyone knows West African Shield is actually an pr extremely productive uh, area with Cote d'Ivoire actually being one of the least uh, explored, but certainly on the increase at the moment and uh, a great jurisdiction to be in, um, in terms of, from a safety perspective, mining code and committed uh, regime to mining. Uh, currently we have uh, 68 million shares out and uh, some, some warrants which are due in December uh, we got cash on hand at October of uh, 1.1 million, which effectively is going into our drilling program. Uh, market cap, at, at, this was originally at 9 cents. Um, I see today, based on the, the results, we're sitting at about 24 cents at the moment. So things have reacted rather nicely. Sandstorm, is, uh, they acquired Mariana. We bought it back out of Mariana, and they've actually been very supportive all the way through. They do have a royalty on, on these properties. Uh, management has 28%. I'm a large shareholder within that. And then Capital, capital DI, uh, Capital Drilling, they've actually invested in us as well, and they are doing some of our drilling for us at ODNE. On the team, we've got Andrew Chubb, CEO. He's, he's here as well. Um, so any technical questions, always happy to have you guys come around the booth. Um, and uh, Sharon Cooper, our CFO, and Karen Davies on our RR, she's here as well. Just as a mention though, as I say, the board comes, we come out of a Mariana field. Uh, it's myself as the CEO, and our directors are Eric Roth, who was my CEO of Mariana, and then Ron Ho, who's uh, part of the Sandstorm field, and Dirk Hartman. So just quickly now getting to the projects. Um, those are the three tenement areas. As I say, Bonduku, 100% owned. Um, nice thing about Bonduku, uh, you know, we've, as I say, we started from a grassroots level, and We've got 80 kilometers of known mineralized trend, and uh, as we're just slowly working through uh, target generation there, and the aim is we've got 15 target zones. We're trying to refine those to drill ready status and be drilling some of those, or a fair, fair amount of those, by the uh, first half of next year. ODN is where we're busy at the moment. Um, we've got three nice prospects there. The one in the south, right, the south there is called Empire. That is the one that has delivered our discovery. And then Abinguru, as I said, as mentioned, is, uh, is sitting behind from a prioritization perspective. We are obviously a small, small company managing risk mitigation. We, we like risk mitigation, and our risk mitigation is actually project mitigation risk. Um, all gold properties, and really just trying to deliver, as I say, those, those, those discoveries. So this is just focusing on ODNE and how we've got to where we are in terms of the drilling. Um, so ODNE sits up in the northwest up right in the north, so that's really, you've got Mali to the, to the north, you've got um, Guinea to the, to the uh, west, and effectively you're sitting on this, uh, this is a, that's a large regional scale mag. Um, you can see the north-south structure going straight into Mali, and then where, where we're sitting, we're actually sitting on that splay. So if you can think of it, I mean, effectively what's happened is you've got this splay happening, and there's actually the setting with a lot of intrusions as well there. So the, the setting, 
certainly is quite uh, opportune for gold deposition. And uh, the nice thing is that we are seeing it there. So um, we move on. So we've actually done some soils, originally did some soils, defining three good target zones with uh, multiple soil anomalies. And uh, that's been our, our focus. So coming down to Empire, that Empire is the one in the south. And really what, we, what we're having here is uh, we, we've developed from, from the initial streams to the soils. So we actually got quite a nice soil anomaly. What actually happened was the illegal or the artisanals came in after us on our, on our work and they actually developed a pit. So we do see a pit and, and uh, you'll see a picture of that. And it's really over, over some of that area in the rectangle there. But the th key thing to note, we're actually drilling only in the rectangle at the moment, but we've got three kilometers of strike. So it's a significant strike area. Um, where the highest, uh, so that is a sort of, the, the, the three kilometers is based on around about a 20 ppb, and then we hone in and then you get to a 30 to 100 ppb on the darker, and then up to a 200 in the, in the, in the middle there. Um, and that's where we see sort of that, and not, we, we, we see the, there's, a, there's an intrusion there, and as well as uh, the cover is far less in that area, so we see a greater anomaly, and we're thinking that it's mar some of it is masked by, by this cover. So we now focus just on that rectangle, and effectively that's, uh, that's the main zone that we've started our drilling. Originally we set up uh, three, three, scout, uh, three lines that we wanted to drill, and our first two holes, our first hole, we actually hit the structure. So from, from, from what we're actually seeing in that structure, we see this diorite intrusion, which we managed to map because of the artisanal, so they did help us actually at the end of the day. Um, and we're looking at that... Um, uh, sort of highlighted zone in the middle where we see this uh, deformation or highly uh, ductile and brittle uh, setting within this diorite in a shear zone. And that's actually what's delivered in, in well, the quartz veins have delivered to some of the free gold that we're seeing. Um, hole one, 18 meters at 4.9, it's actually 4.9 uh, grams. And hole two, 27 meters at three grams. So those are scissor holes. So if you look at the cross section, I mean, the cross-section actually shows that we haven't drilled down a, down a pipe or anything like that. We've actually demonstrated true width. We're around 15 metres of true width. And that's in that zone is where we're seeing effectively this, uh, um, some of this visible gold. You can see some of those, the core pictures there. So hole one, you know, there we, we are seeing those little circles. There is visible gold in that area in the quartz vein. Similarly, hole two. And the good thing about hole three, which we don't have assays for as yet, is we actually do prove the system actually does, uh, does plunge. So we're looking at about 100, 100 meters from surface or 80 meters from that last intersection where we're actually seeing similar uh, geology to what, we, uh, what we're getting up uh, that has been assayed. So we know the system actually carries at depth. Uh, and the nice thing is if you go back, you know, what we do see now is we've got strike just in this, in this area, which is... Um, you, 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 well, well just, just where we're drilling is probably about 300 meters or 400 meters um, open to the east, open to the west. And uh, furthermore, that soil anomaly that you see, you can see the, 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 the main structural zone at the moment is sitting on the north of the anomaly. We've got everything open to the south where the anomaly actually extends as well. So just in terms of scale, the potential to actually develop uh, uh, you know, a couple of hundred thousand ounces just on that area alone is quite, you know, we feel is, uh, we're pretty confident that we can achieve that. And then the nice thing is we've got three kilometers of extent to actually just keep on building out. So taking Discovery Hole, slowly working our way through, you know, with our drill fencing. So we've actually put in another, we've actually got now six lines that we've uh, planned. Uh, sorry. Now, now we've moved to six lines. Originally we were doing three, three lines of scout, scout drilling. We're already at six, uh, six lines. So. This thing is starting to deliver for us. We can see the ability to deliver within that. And I think uh, you know, the visible gold in the sulfide material and the fresh rock certainly is exciting people and, the, and, and they're seeing what we're seeing. So that's quite nice and it's reflected in our share price. Um, that just gives you an idea. So that's actually the artisanal workings that came in um, after, after us. So that, that helped us on some of the mapping. I'll, I'll just quickly finish. So we are moving from Empire up to Wakaba as well. So we'll be doing uh, four to six holes at Wakaba. That is a granite intrusion type uh, quartz tourmaline vein, high grade vein system. Slightly different to what we're seeing at, at Empire, which is a typical orogenic system. And uh, really, again, I mean, it's just testing targets. We saw this as testing targets. However, Empire has actually taken us to a different level and suddenly now we're actually uh, 
trying to develop this into can we actually get a deposit out of it and we're quite excited about that so that's what we're doing continual drilling uh, at ODNE and then at Bonduku we're just going to be carry on with our grassroots um, developing those targets into drill ready status for the second half of the year next year so pretty good story from the early from, from early stage to where we are thanks very much <laughs>